This is part 4 of the Dino game tutorial. It's also the last part. In this part, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to make sure that the background moves faster as time goes, so the game becomes more challenging. And second thing we are going to do is to add a timer, so the player knows how long he plays the game before the Dino dies, and he can compare with his friends. Now, first thing first, let's set a variable game speed. And when the game starts, we are going to set the game speed. Let's just use minus 5. So set the game speed to minus 5. And when the game is over, we need to set the game speed to 0. So set game speed to 0. Now we're going to create a block to change the game speed. So we start with game speed of minus 5. After 5 seconds, we'll change it to minus 6. Another 5 seconds, we'll change to minus 7. We're going to have a forever loop. And we're going to wait for 5 seconds, then I'll change the speed. And I want to change the speed over 10 iterations. So we'll repeat 10 times. And every time, I'll change the speed by minus 0.1. So after 10 times, the speed will be changed by minus 1. Now when are we going to change the game speed as long as user starts the game? So when I receive restart, I'm going to change the game speed. Okay, so this is for the ground. And remember the cactus needs to move at the same speed as the ground. And if you look at the code for cactus, we ask the cactus to move by minus 5. So now we need to change minus 5 to game speed. Okay, now let's look at how to set a timer. We already know that Scratch has a timer here. If you look at here, let, let me restart the game. You can see this is the timer. And this timer, it has three digits after the decimal point. So it's eight point something, something, something. I don't want anything after the decimal point. I only want the whole number portion. So let's create a variable. I call it time. I When I receive the restart, I'm going to reset the timer. I'll use a forever loop to set my time to always be the round of timer. So the round of timer will give us the whole number portion of the timer. Okay, now we have so many things here. I don't want so many variables to be displayed here. So let's unselect all the variables except time. Now there is, let's go to sensing and check timer. And this Y speed of dinosaur is under dinosaur. So we need to click dinosaur, go to variables and uncheck Y speed. So now we only have the timer. Okay. And if you double click this, it will just leave with the number. So let's put this in the center of the screen. Now let's try our code. I can tell the background is moving faster. Now I'm going to die. Now game over. If I press space key again, it's going to restart the game. And you can see the time also resets. That concludes the tutorial for the whole Google Dino game. Hope you like it.